Hi there fellow YouTubers and welcome to another episode of 24 Hour Air Gunner. I will be using my Jacan Crows and Oblis Bullpup in point two two using Crossman Premier Ultras. I purchased the gun from AC Guns so if you want to get in contact with Ray please do. Hi guys, this is the third part of air gun ballistics and it's on turret tapes using Hawk Chair Gun Pro. So I hope you enjoy it guys. Hi there guys and welcome back to 24 hour air gunner we are now on part three of air gun ballistic series which i'm going to be showing you how to uh, use your hawk chair gun turret tapes and how accurate they can actually be i'm going to be using the jumbo exact heavies 18.13 grains and first of all i'm just going to make sure my zero is still at 35 yards so we'll just double check that it's at 35 yards. So I'll bear with this guys. Well, we're all in the same spot, so I'm happy with that. So what I'll do is I'll put it out to um, 50 yards. I'll adjust the turret tip to where 50 yards are, and then we'll fire three to five shots to see how bang on we are. So I'll bear with us, guys. One fifty yard target. One range finder.
Right then guys, put my target out to 50 yards. We just did my, put my turrets at the top to 50 yards with the turret tape. Well that's bang on guys, fair shot, very close. Yeah, I'm happy with them to actually it to about 50. Went a bit low that one, but yeah, the tree will take wet out at 50. So we'll, so we'll try out to 75. Let's try it. <laughs> 75 yard target, range found that. And guys, there you have it. I wanted it to go out to a further distance on the turrets and that to show you that it can work out other distances, but the wind's really picked up now, so I'm going to call it a day. Um, but out to 50 yards, the turret, the turret actually worked perfect, it was bang on. So I'm happy with that. Uh, you'll get to see some more at a later date at other distances, I'm sure. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now. Create your turret tape, your open hook chair gun pro. You would then go to the top of the here, which is your toolbox. You would then click on that and then scroll down to scope tape, which is here at the bottom. You would click on scope tape, that would bring up your scope tape data. You would then go to the top left hand corner and put in the diameter of your scope knob here. Next of all, you would put in the height of your scope knob which is there and then for your clicks per revolution of your scope you would enter that here depending on how far you would like to reach with your scope i went to two turns which would give me the ability to go up to 81 yards but with a 12 foot pound rifle i would definitely not advise that this is mainly just for targets and something what I didn't realise is at first I thought that these numbers below here had to match up with the numbers on your scope the dot guys you actually have to cut those off and whatever you have set your zero at you would then match up to wherever the numbers you have set your zero up and then wrap it round from that number from the zero on your scope tape so i hope this was uh helpful guys i look forward to seeing you on the next one bye for now